guys, it's Sex Modern Warfare here, Gamertab Banjo Chicken, and welcome to JTAG Tutorials episode 19, is it? I think it's 19. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install multi disc games, mainly GTA 5. That's the example we're going to use because it's just been leaked. It was leaked on Friday. I'm making this video now on Sunday. Um, I would have made it earlier, but I had problems installing it myself because the FT I transferred it over FTP and it. Uh, didn't transfer all the files over correctly so it's corrupt. Um, well it's a bit annoying so uh, that's why this video is a bit late so sorry about that guys but I'm going to show you how to get this installed because I've been getting a lot of comments and PMs of people getting frustrated that it is not working it's just stuck on the loading screen or whatever it's just you can't they can't get it to load so here is how you do it so basically you're going to want to find some links to download your game. Uh, I recommend put locker links, so put them in J Downloader, download them all. And once you have them all downloaded, I'm not going to take you over to where I downloaded them because I downloaded them off xbox360iso.com. It will be in the description. At the moment, because it is GTA 5 has just been leaked, the xbox360iso.com servers are just overwhelmed right now with floods of people try to get GTA 5 and there's database errors, server errors, it's just really hard to access the site at the moment so because of that I'm not going to show you but basically by the time you're watching this video hopefully it, things will have cleared up a bit on Xbox 360 ISO so you go on Xbox 360 ISO you go to the DVD game download section and download uh, find links for GTA 5 if you can't access the site then PM me on YouTube and I'll send you the links over uh, the links that I got but bear in mind the links I got are already extracted they're not in ISO form so um, you won't be able to put that on a disk unless you created an ISO and managed to get it to verify an ABGX 360 so we're gonna go what I've done is extracted it into a folder called GTA 5 so you can see you've got disk 1 here and disk 2 so there's the contents of disk 1 and here's the contents of disk 2. Now disk 2 is the one that contains uh, like the story mode and everything. Um, disk 1 is to be installed to the hard drive. So what we're going to do is transfer this over to an external hard drive. I would not recommend FTPing it over because it's so big and you may get corruptions like I did when I tried to do that. So definitely use an external hard drive to copy it over or hook up your Xbox hard drive to your computer and put it on. Um, yeah, I highly recommend doing that. Just If you don't have an external hard drive, you're kind of stuck. You really should have one uh, to copy this over. Or if you have a USB stick that's big enough to support 16 gigs um, of data, then you can put it on a USB stick. So, put this on the USB stick and I'll go over to the Xbox and show you what you have to do from there. Alright guys, so now that we are over onto the Xbox, you want to plug in your external hard drive and head over to XEX menu. Okay, so once we're on XX menu, you want to locate your GTA 5. And here's the two disk folders in here. So inside disk 1, this needs to be um, installed. So obviously on a retail console, you know, it's on a disk, you'd start the disk, it would install. Um, what we have to do on the JTAG is uh, copy this content. So we can see we've got content here. This is out of place um, because it's got content 0000, and then this folder. So it's not the kind of place you would normally find the content folder. You wouldn't find it on a disk, so it should be on the hard drive. So what we're going to do is dig into this folder as far as I've got here. Uh, once we're past the folder with all the zeros and we get the 545408A7, you want to press Y on that, press A to copy it. And then we're just going to go back to the device. We're going to press X and go to HDD1, hard drive. 
and then we're going to go to content folder on the hard drive folder with all the zeros and then just paste it in here and this will take quite a while to copy over because it's pretty big so this is basically the entire contents of disk one so seven gigs so it's pretty big and um, for people who do not have an Xbox 360 hard drive um, what you can do instead of this is get a USB drive that is big enough for pretty much 8 gigabytes and configure that for an Xbox 360 storage device in the, dash, the normal dashboard obviously you go to storage and then configure now and configure your USB stick and then use Horizon to open the USB flash drive and then get the 545408A7000 folder and put it inside content or of course if you've just configured the USB stick it won't have a content folder in it already so just copy the entire content folder from disk 1 um, onto the flash drive using Horizon uh, it should put it in the right place automatically and then you should be good just have the USB stick plugged in while you're trying to play the game and it should all work fine Hopefully you won't have to do that. Hopefully you have an Xbox 360 hard drive in the console anyway and you can just do it the same way I'm doing it and it should work fine. So I don't know about all other games like other multi-disc games but I assume it's the same thing. If it has a content folder inside one of the uh, discs or inside what well you know what I mean by discs. If it has a content folder inside one of the disk folders like disk 1 or disk 2 that content whatever's inside that content folder should be inside the content folder in the hard drive because when you run disk 2 normally on a normal Xbox it is taking content from uh, the hard drive because you couldn't have both disks running at once so that's why one disk gets installed to the hard drive, the second disk plays the game but uses the content that's been installed from disk 2 to the hard drive, it takes it off the hard drive. So that's why any kind of multi-disk game that has a content folder, that should be on the hard drive, it should not be, should not remain on the disk. Well, it should remain on the disk, it should be copied to the hard drive. And that's how you get multi-disk games to work. Um, I'm not sure if other multi-disc games are different because this is, to be honest, this is the only multi-disc game I've actually tried apart from Halo 4. So I'd have to actually go back and check to make sure Halo 4 follows the same principles as GTA 5 being a multi-disc game, but we'll see. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we've now got it transferred over 545408A7. And then we've got these four files in here. So now, to get the game working, all you have to do is uh, navigate back to your external device, where you have GTA 5 disk, disks installed. And we go to the disk 2 this time, because we don't need disk 1. Disk 1 was just to install that content folder, which we've just done manually. Um, so now what we're going to do is just run the default.xex. And I would show you this, but due to the fact that I am making this tutorial before the game has released and before um, it's probably be uploaded before GTA 5 is officially released, um, I'm not going to actually start it up because that would be showing you guys game footage, uh, footage of the game before it was released and I could get in a bit of trouble for that. As in my YouTube channel could be shut down if I show gameplay of it. You know what publishers are like. So unfortunately I'm not going to show you it but basically start that default.xex file and the game should run. Um, also you can install it to freestyle dash by adding the game path make sure you set the game path to the disk 2 not disk 1 set the game path to disk 2 and then you should be able to launch it in freestyle dash so that's it guys that's how you install multi-disk games particularly gta 5 that we're focusing on just remember to subscribe if you uh, 
um, like my content because I've got lots more of this kind of stuff on my channel and of course like the video if you liked it and found it useful and comment if you have any questions. Hopefully uh, see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Yeah.